what are your core values? In this video, we're gonna learn about core values and we're gonna learn the importance of understanding and identifying your core values. We're also gonna be touching on the consequences of not knowing where your core values are and how establishing core values is gonna benefit your life for the better. Well, welcome back. It is so good to have you here. My name is Jasmine and I am a licensed mental health counselor counseling from the Christian perspective. And I'm also the owner of the Oasis Mental Health Counseling Services. This channel is all about integrating mental health and faith so that we can learn how God really cares about our mental wellness. So why are core values important? Why is this important to know? Because when we know our core values, it sets the foundation of our day-to-day. -day. Core values is the engine behind our decision-making. When we know our core values, we set the tone for the way we function at home, the decisions we make at work, relationship decisions. It just really sets the foundation on the things you say yes to and the things you say no to. Core values plays a role in forming and in shaping, maybe forming the business that you want, maybe shaping the family matters that you want to establish, decisions on where you go and where you don't go, relationships you form and relationships you don't, your thought processes about the world. Core values helps you identify and establishes your roots on how you will lead the life that you have. When you know your core values, you are able to set boundaries because boundaries, what it does is that it protects your core values. So when you set boundaries, it sets the foundation on which your core values will stand. When you don't know your core values, it will lead you to live an inauthentic lifestyle. You're not going to be authentic to self because you're living in somebody else's shadow. You live your life according to others' standards and not your own, what's important to you. If you are finding yourself frustrated with your life, it is important that you step back and ask yourself, what is important to me? Because that's what core values are. When you're able to identify what matters to me, what are the things that convict my heart? What are the things that I stand for? When you don't know these things, it's easy to fall into categories of standing up for things that other people are standing up for. And sometimes that's not bad because maybe what that person that you're shadowing stands up for are things that you also believe in. But it is very important that you reflect back and say, but what's unique to me? What are the things that are important to me that I must stand up for and that I want to celebrate? So again, when you know your core values, you're going to be more authentic to self. When you don't know your core values, you get to live under the shadow of somebody else and maybe you'll be operating under an inauthentic pursuit in life because it's not your own core values. So core values, it's the idea of what's the most important thing for you. What stands out in your life that you're like, this is what I want to advocate for. This is my non-negotiable. These are the things that lead my life. This is the pattern that I want to live in. These are my core values. This is the inner part of me. This is what I stand for. My life represents these core values. Not everybody shares the same core values, right? Your neighbor next to you, the person next to you may not share the same views that you have, may not share the same core values. And that is okay. We are all different and we all stand for different things many times. And we get to work together and have balanced relationships. Because what I value, somebody else may not value, but they value something else that may not be a high priority for me. But when we collaborate, it's even a more beautiful picture. And there's more advocacy. There's more celebration. Why? Because when we come together, it's unique. We all have unique experiences and we all need one another. The core values can change throughout the time. What I may stand up for today in two or three years, depending on things that I've seen, my environment, um, life changing, my core values may shift. One thing may have a priority that didn't have priority maybe a year ago, but things change. And it's very important to understand that 
that core values change. It's also important to identify that core values can be learned. Depending on the environment that I'm in and what we stand for, core values can be learned by the people around you. And so, yes, we can impact one another. We can influence one another perfectly fine. So it's always important that at the end of the day, that when you reflect with yourself, when you reflect with God, that you are standing up for what's important for you, your core values. So what are your goals? This is going to help shape what is important to you. If I have a goal, I'm going to set a core value that will support the goal that I have. Think about God's desire for how you should live. When we look at scripture, when we reflect with the Holy Spirit, God is going to speak to us on a standard that we should live. What do I need to set up? What do I need to build to honor and protect my walk with God? Core values must shape the character and the image that God created us to have. When we establish our core values, they need to be aligned with God's vision for us, for his requirement, for his desire for us, for his creation. When we set our core values, it shapes our thought processes. It shapes the lifestyle we are going to live. It shapes the decision-making of our life. That's the tone of the relationships we have, the way we treat others, the way you allow yourself to be treated. So here are some examples of core values. Faith, family, health, peace, loyalty, and so what will I do to honor my values? So if these are your core values, you should then ask yourself, how can I honor my core values? So faith, how can I honor that? Consistency with my relationship with God. It could also look like obeying God. So what do I need to make sure that my relationship is good? That my faith is strong? Obedience. That's a way to value and to honor your core values. If your core value is family, a way you can honor it is not negotiating quality time with my family. Health, the way you can support the core value of health is perhaps improving nutrition and exercise. How can I honor the core value of peace? perhaps avoiding gossip or unnecessary conversations. So how do I continuously honor my core values throughout my life? It is important that you write it down, you recite it, you communicate it, and repeat. Write it, recite it, communicate it, and walk it out. Write it, recite it, communicate it, and walk it out. The repetition. The ongoing setting the standard, communicating it, gathering together. When we're setting core values, it is important that you also sit with yourself in the presence of God and establish what is really important to you and live a life that will honor these core values, not contradict them. The lifestyle that we live needs to support and not contradict our core values. Our core values keeps our life balanced, especially when they are birthed out of the Word of God. And that's a continuous repetition. When you know your core values, you're able to set boundaries and decisions that support your value system. When we do that, we're able to assess better what's negative and what is not, what's beneficial and what is not. When we do that, we honor God, specifically when we are considering living a life holy unto God. We are able to shape our core values and our decision making to point to the direction of God's expectation of how he desires for us to live our personal life, our businesses, our families, our friendships, etc. Our decision making, period. Deuteronomy 6-7 shares a great principle on how to put into the roots, the core values, and keep them established. This is what it reads. Impress them on your children. 
talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. This is an ongoing repetition. It's not something that's said in the beginning of the year and that's it. This is something that is part of the lifestyle, is part of the routine. It's in our conversation. We are going to talk about this and we are going to walk it out. And what's beautiful about it is that it's encouraging even from our children to establish the repetition. Let's sit and let's talk about it from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. This is the way we live. This is our lifestyle. We're going to remind each other. We're going to talk about it. So I encourage you to sit down and reflect. If you're a single person, if you are married, if you have a family, sit down with yourself or with your family to communicate and remind yourself what are my core values and make sure that they are the foundation of your core values are roots from the word of God, are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Because when our core values have a foundation that is established on the rock, that is established on God, is established on Jesus Christ, the best is yet to come because you're going to establish core values that honor God. And when we honor God, he blesses that. And the decisions that we make reflect the love of God. It reflects God's heart. We want to bring that to the earth. We want to bring that to our lives. We want to operate under God's will. Core values, knowing that, is going to shape the life that you live. And if you are seeking to live a life unto God, it is important that you get into the word of God, that you spend quality time with the Lord, your own time and with your family, and ask God, what is the life and what is the vision you have? Help me establish core values that will set the tone on the life that we live. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on core values. And start today. I hope you can begin today identifying one or two core values and begin to operate under them. It's going to really set the tone on the decisions you make and the life that you lead. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, press the like button, leave a comment down below, share it with anybody you believe will benefit from this. Please make sure to check all of the videos on this channel that talk about faith and mental health. Until next time.